Hi guys, Showmofo here, back with some awesome Minecraft, we're at Settlers Bay, and uh, first of all, massive shout out to uh, Liam Russell, Thomas Conda, Sapitron, Ike, David B, your boy Lamar, that guy, Dead Leaves, Skylake, Evil Dave, Dams Del Drennan, Matthias Ball, Innocent Bystander, Chibi, and of course, some Bob. Thank you so much for leaving comments on my last video. Uh, apologies to everyone for it being in 480. Uh, what a terrible, terrible uh, blunder I made. Never mind, let's hope I manage to do better with this video. Well, welcome back to Settlers Bay. Um, as you can see, not much has changed around here at all. Uh, I've been busy over here. What have we been doing? Well, after the uh, excavating of the first temple site, look, I've uh, I found another one, uh, a smaller shrine here, and uh, I've excavated this out. And so we're going to have to do some uh, worship there. It paid off last time. Um, at the end of last episode, I made an offering of cake to this shrine, and things have been going rather well. So uh, I, I hope to be doing similar and such over here. What's over here? Who knows? Oh, are we going to find anything else exciting as we excavate down here? I've no idea. Uh, you'll have to stay tuned and find out. Um, but yeah, ooh, exciting. It's quite strange, sea gods and stuff. Uh, still haven't built my wizard's tower. We haven't got quite far into it yet. But um, as I've got a mine over here, I've uh, I've built a big horn cattle ranch. Check it out. There we go, big horn cattle ranch. And uh, this is to sp supply uh, food for the miners. Uh, we're going to have a small mining town over here, uh, so I can excavate uh, and get a, a real dig on the go down here. Um, I had a little bit of a dig around here on the live stream. Didn't find anything too exciting. Um, I've since been back down there, had one or two little uh, near misses with the lava. Uh, so it's a health and safety nightmare down there at the moment. But yes, this is uh, Bighorn Cattle Ranch. And uh, as you can see, I've just got a couple of uh, milking cows over on my farm at the uh, Settlers Bay Farm. Uh, so, a much larger set of livestock over here uh, for producing leather and meat. Uh, it's getting dark now, so I'll take you inside. And uh, let's just go in. Have a little look-see around. Nice little, uh, nice little eating area. It's, of course, it's all converted barns, so it's quite spacious inside. And uh, as you can see, I've been getting together some uh, materials. Uh, this is actually the way in over here. Have we got anything in there? Don't know what's cooking. It might be beef, but I don't think there's any in there. And, uh, ooh, is there any stuff in here? No, that's empty. There's a little cupboard for, yes, cooking beef. There we go. Lots of steak on the go. I will uh, collect all of that up, but I'll, I'll do it later to get the XP. And, of course, he's got so much leather. And Paper has been able to build uh, a much bigger enchantment thing. And I, I really need to sort mine out. So, uh, he's got lots of amenities here. Splendid. Look at this old converted barn. A tiny little bed propped up here so I can keep an eye on who pops up the stairs. Oh, lovely night's sleep. So, yeah, I've got him to do me a nice set of armor and it's really nice. Look at all of this. Feeling like a boss. And uh, how are we doing on here? Managed to get, uh, there was a little lava pool under this. So I managed to get a, a, quite a lot of obsidian from that. Which is nice. Uh, taking out a few more endermen. Um, diamonds, lovely diamonds. And, uh, <laughs> well, we had little to do with uh, a trader who uh, was slightly offended by the offers I made. It ended in violence, but uh, I came out the victor. And so I've got some leads there. And uh, many a creeper has met its demise. So, the problem they've got here is uh, these guys, while they've got lots of leather from the cows, uh, they've only got a small, he's only got a small wheat field. And he's got to feed up all of these cows. 
and increases increases stock for the leather and beef trade if we're going to encourage a lot of uh, miners to come here I'm probably going to have to build some accommodation over here as well um, so what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to fly on over here let's have a little look see and see if I can help him out so I'm just going to pop down here and then go into survival mode let's just plonk down on the farm there we go oopsie right while I'm here I'll take some wool over because I'll be making lots of beds not that I haven't got so much wool already but uh, sheep shearing is the way to go fun fun activity in the sun make sure these sheep aren't getting too hot come on that's it push him out push him out thank you well he, he grew back straight away <laughs> There we go. And you, sir. Right. That's enough of that nonsense. Oh. There we go. Right, pop them back. Don't want to wreck my shears like I did last time. And of course, we can't we can't go anywhere without a little uh, egg hunt. I'm just, I'm going to keep it to that. I'm not going to get tied in with things, uh, but I do want some eggs. I've got plenty of eggs. I'm going to have to find somebody who wants to buy eggs off me. Um, but let's see, let's make some room. Oh, yes. Love this. Now, you may be wondering, what's he, do what's he doing this for? Well, you'll see. I've decided that um, I'm going to trade with uh, Bighorn Cattle Ranch my wheat for their uh, leather and meaty goodness beef products. So I'm just going to get myself a load of wheat to take on over there. And hopefully we can come to some kind of arrangement. Oh, there we go. What's what's occurring? Right, have I missed any? No, I think it's all good. Just mixing it up a little bit, <laughs> so it doesn't get too boring. This is the one part of growing wheat which I wish you could automate this process. I'll have to figure something out for that. Look at all these seeds. I need somebody who wants to buy seeds as well. Uh, maybe small startup farms. If you're interested in a small startup farm on my server, uh, please do let me know your specific requirements and a name for your farm. And uh, I'll see what I can do. Maybe we can uh, get you in the mines. If you want to help in the mines, do let me know. Let me know what your uh, specialised subjects and areas of expertise are. Uh, so I can put them to good use on the server. When that comes about. And uh, if you're a big wig, some kind of uh, big bucks, uh, big shot kind of uh, big deal then uh, let me know as well and I will make some kind of luxury condo for you and maybe tempt you into coming and playing some Minecraft with me who knows <laughs> who knows wouldn't it be nice if we could get some uh, uh, big big names in here right let's see what we've got here I'm gonna take all of this and for transportation sake oh first of all first of all where's my sugar at where is my sugar at? It's over here, isn't it? Is it? No, where's all my sugar gone? Where's all my sugar gone? I'm sure I made so much sugar. 
Or have I just gone blind? Well, it's a good job I only need a little bit of sugar. There it is. Ah, <sighs> and we need milk. And of course, I've always got two. I need to make another bucket so we can have multiples of uh, three for the old, uh, you know what's coming next, cake making shenanigans. Right, you say you look like you're ripe for milking. There we go. Okay, so what is it? It's un, deux, trois, sprinkle of goodness, maybe an egg, and then, voila, we have cake. Okay, good stuff. Uh, don't need any of that. Really do. If if you need to buy seeds for your farm, please do let me know. Let me know the name of your farm and uh, what kind of biome you're in, and I'll sort that out. <laughs> right, have we got any more wheat over here? I have. Okay, have we accidentally got some wheat in here for random... Yeah, thought so. Okay, so we've got lots of wheat to trade in at um, Bighorn Cattle Ranch. So what I'm going to do is pop these here, thusly like so, and F voila, 64 hay bales, lovely stuff. That was somebody just coming in and passing me a note if you had a tiny patter of feet there. Uh, another 16, 17, oh, come on. There we go, that's more like it. Okay, so that's not bad, 64 and 25. Add it up and tell me what that is. A little maths problem for you there. And, of course, uh, I think there's already about... One thing I did do uh, since last time over here on uh, Settlers Bay. So I've made myself the start of a jetty. So I can get out in my boat a bit faster. Uh, I have to watch out. There's some uh, reefs and such around here I have to watch out for. Okay, and I'm going to come up here, and uh, then we'll go in here, and oh, there we go, and look at this, look at this, it's a lot smaller than the other shrine, but I'm hoping uh, to get just as good an omen from placing a cake there. So, there we go, two offerings made, let's hope uh, I get some good fortune. Oh, now I need a snack. Let's just have a butty. Oh, have a butty in my boat. That's exciting. And then uh, sail on over here. Let's park up here somewhere. Obviously going to have to build some ports. And little uh, jetties. Oh, there's a nice little bay to park in up here. This looks lovely. And it's just coming up for night time. So I've timed this perfectly. I can spend the night here. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in here and spend the night. And then we'll get down to the uh, brass tacks of a hard trade negotiation in the morning. Hmm, lovely sleep. Sleep with bread. Don't get don't get crumbs in the bed though. Don't get crumbs in the bed. 
<laughs> that would be shocking. Okay, so I want a big library like this over in Settlers Bay. So I can do all kinds of powerful enchanty goodness. And for that, I need lots of leather for making books. Uh, luckily, he needs lots and lots of hay for his cows, what we've got in there. Uh, he doesn't want people just coming in and killing them all the time. And uh, plowing through them. So we've we've settled up a much more sophisticated trade method. Uh, if I just move some of this stuff out the way so we can see what we're getting. Okay. Now, I've got wheat. Oh, I've got wheat. Could have made that into a hay bale. There we go. So, what have we got here? Well, next to this lovely hay shed, which needs filling, we've got a trading post. I can trade five bales for ten beef. Et voila. And uh, five bales for five leather, which I think is rather reasonable. So, let's see how much leather I can get. So, I've got plenty of food. Let's see. Nine. Oh, look at this. Oh, more than 64. I've done rather well. Look at all this leather. Okay, and I've got this. So I'm just going to convert that as well while I'm here. Has he not got it? He hasn't got a crafting bench outside. I'll have to have a word with him about that. Okay. Right, and that leaves me with one spare, and that means I can get another ten leather. And the lovely thing about this as well is uh, the incentive to do this rather than killing the cows is, if you notice, I'm also getting experience every time I trade. So I'm leveling up as well by doing this. Oh, look at that. Now, thank you very much, uh, Bighorn Cattle Ranch. I've got some... Uh... In fact, you can have... You can have this one. There we go. Just leave a spare one in the shed. He's going to put it all there anyway. I might just... <laughs> Steal a beetroot while I'm here. <laughs> it's a terrible tinker. Can't help it. Can't help it. It's a little freebie. Let's see what have we got in here. Um, lovely stuff. So, uh, I've got plenty of wheat there. I'm going to take all of this leather back with me. Leave that there. And, uh, oops. Whoa, look at that. That's 128 and 34. Again, you do the maths. Tell me. Tell me what that is. Um, leave some seeds there. And there's... Oh, it's got, it's got plenty of meat cooking. We're all good on that front. And you can see, a lot of this splendid armor I got from... From his enchanty thing. I want to be able to do that over at Settlers Bay. Oh, I should take some of that wood. That's what I need. He's got the close access to the trees. I nearly wandered off without the wood. That's what I want. And some cobblestone. There we go. Now, I'm 
going to have to start getting organised. All of my chests are either sort of just there as a bit of decoration, or um, they've been there while I've been building something, and then I've moved on and built something else and built something else, and it's just, it's all a bit of a mess and, you know, disorganised. So I've really got to start building some purpose-built buildings so I know uh, where my stores of various materials are. I think I'll be doing that next. A bit of windy bops there, excuse me. And, um, well, yeah, this is the only jetty we've got at the moment. So, uh, we're going to be getting around on boat a lot more. So, let's see. I'm going to go and put this down in the official store. Oh, loading them chunks. Uh, put it in the staff supply shed. Let's see, we've got semi, semi organized. Okay. Here we go, this one's empty. Oops. What is going on there? Okay. Just, it can have leather in there with it for now. I haven't got that much wood or stone. Ah, mmm, 35 steaks. Yummy, yummy. I think I'm going to keep them with me. I've only got bread at the moment. And uh, you can have a beetroot. And some more eggs. Okay. So, I can start building up some stocks. Now then. What to do? Well, I think that we'll just have a little... Oh, go on then. Quick little egg hunt. See if we can find anything. There's one. Two. <laughs> oh, I can't help it. <laughs> it's all these videos are going to be, by the way. No, I'll uh, put them there. But yeah, I really need somebody to trade eggs with. Um, as you only need one per cake. So it's a bit excessive. Or uh, either that, or somebody needs to let me know about... Um, children's parties and such like so I can bake lots of cakes I suppose if there's another egg got it no you're not you're not doing shearing come on stick to the program <laughs> just getting carried away just getting absolutely carried away so yeah now I'm gonna build myself somewhere over here where I can do a bit more enchanting um, I think a safe going to the cattle ranch all the time who knows uh, so I might do another house build over here um, let's just go back onto creative for a second so I can fly around and show you guys so yeah I've got some building to do we've got space to build over here and of course we've got the construction site. I've not done anything with the construction site yet. So we've got very little sand and stone. Uh, but I may well do some building around here. As I'm going to want somewhere where I can do some high level enchanty goodness. And we've got down this end of the island to explore yet. Haven't built anything here. I've been using this to uh, be my tree farm on this side. And uh, I do want a lovely little, uh, oh, it's getting a bit laggy, a lovely little jetty across here. But there'll have to be a bridge so that we can get in and go under this. Because I want boats to be able to come in all the way. I might even clear that out. I've got a boat left there. 
I might even clear this out so you can get through to there. Who knows? Maybe even cha a channel all the way through. Uh, I'm not sure. It's getting dark. But if I just fly on over here. Yeah, I've got room for a few buildings over here. I've got lots of this to excavate. I'm hoping we find some mammoth mega shrine. Or maybe some ancient artifacts. Who knows what's down in here. And uh, it bodes well. The, all this mysticism. For uh, the mage tower. I think when we get the mage tower built. It's going to be quite something. And here we go. Look at this. Doesn't it look lovely at night? It looks lovely at night. Now it doesn't quite prevent 100% of entities from spawning have had the odd zombie or skeleton turn up um, but <laughs> it's it's also subject to change this was originally uh, it claimed a lot more land but he got told off um, he hadn't got the necessary planning permission and uh, other people with plans to build in the area complained so we've cut it back a bit who knows when other things start getting built around here, it might get cut back even further. Um, he might sell the land. You see, this was it. At first, he did a massive land grab, and it came to about here somewhere. And uh, the people who were coming said, no, he's just, he's not doing that for the farm. He's just doing that so that when people, uh, people move here, he can sell the land off at extortionate rates. And I thought, oh, you know what? You're right. So I had a word with him, and uh, we, we decided to half the uh, grounds. Um, because I said, you're not going to need that many cows. He said, yes, I am. <laughs> so let's pop this back and uh, put it back into survival, just in case I can get any levels from stuff turning up at night. Okay, and I'll just take that little stack, and I'll leave you an egg to confuse you. And uh, now that he's got all of the hay, we can start cow production for some real volumes on the uh, the leather and the beef and hopefully that will attract uh, more businesses and then uh, there'll be all kinds of miners queuing up for steak butties and I'll th oh, I'm getting swarmed oh, stampede all right run away hello guys oh it's dangerous. You can see why he prefers doing it with hay bales. Ooh. Thank you very much. Right, well, there we go. I think that's a successful little mission there. Everybody is uh, fully, fully loved up, I believe. Yep. Good, good stuff. Right, well, I think I'm going to spend the night here. And uh, it's probably time to be wrapping up the video. So, I'm going to go to bed. And I hope to see you all next time. Don't forget, let me know in the comments uh, what, kind, what kind of role would you like to take in my uh, fun little adventures. Um, would you be coming mining and excavating with me? Would you be off exploring uh, strange lands? Would you like to have a little shop of your own uh, where you could sell and trade from? Uh, please do let me know in the comments. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. Let me know you saw the video by leaving a like. And uh, shout outs again. Liam Russell, Thomas Condor, Sabatron, Ike, Dave B, your boy Lamar, that guy, Deadleaf, Skylake, Evil Dave, Damsdell, Drennan, Matthias Ball, Innocent Bystander, Chippy and Sunbob. Thank you. Your comments really did uh, make my day. So 
Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Good night and bye-bye.